Hello. Thank you for being a Junior Achievement Volunteer. JAR Region consists of five classroom sessions that help students understand what it takes to operate a successful business in their area. Students will examine regional and state resources and supply chains. They will be challenged to solve problems by weighing risks against potential rewards. This video provides high-level tips to help you succeed in the classroom. The JA Our Region video series provides specific tips for each of the five sessions. Other JA volunteers have identified three simple keys to success. Become familiar with your kit contents. Prepare for each session, including reaching out to your teacher to preview the topics and tasks. And provide personal, real-world experiences and examples that will help the kids relate to the content. Always remember to arrive early with photo ID for each session to allow time to sign in at the administrative office and to prepare the classroom. New volunteers tell us they spend on average 30 to 40 minutes preparing for each week's session. As you become more experienced, you'll see your prep time decrease, averaging closer to 20 minutes for each session. Your local JA area will provide you a kit before you get started. You'll want to review the kit materials for each session prior to coming to class. Inside the kit, you should find two copies of the Guide for Volunteers and Teachers. One is for you, the other is for your classroom teacher. Your guide is yours to keep. We encourage you write in it, highlight key points, and make notes of local and personal examples you want to share. While you won't want to read from the guide during your class, you will want to reference it to help you stay on track. The guide provides insight into the suggested activities and the session videos offer tips to make your volunteer experience great. Be sure to review both a few days before each session. On page 8 of the guide, you'll find a master list of materials. Be sure your kit contains each of these items in their correct quantity. If anything is missing, please contact your local JA office right away. Here are a few helpful hints regarding the kit materials. Each kit item has an item number printed on it. This will help you identify specific posters, cards, or other items used in various sessions. Many volunteers find it helpful to organize the kit materials by session, placing the items for each session in a separate envelope or folder. This makes it easier to retrieve the items when you need them. Some kit materials are used more than once. For example, the JA banner and table tents are listed for all five sessions, as are a few other items. Be aware that the vocabulary flashcards are labeled from A to Z, and four to six of them are used in each session. It's helpful to divide them up based on the materials list for each session. In session three, you'll use the hot dog stand game. We recommend placing all the pieces needed for the game in eight containers or bags. Organizing this way will expedite game setup and start. Plan for groups of four. Even if you have a group or two with only three students, the game bags will work. Coordinate with your teacher to collect the table tents after each session and keep them in a safe place in the classroom. The poster and banner can be left hanging in the class for reference between sessions or stored by the teacher and rehung when you return. Either way, it's less for you to have to carry back and forth right. in your kit. Thank you so much. This concludes the JA Our Region Preparing for Your Sessions video. Thank you for being a Junior Achievement Volunteer.